Heidi Fang from MMA Fight Corner with UC Middleweight. Chris Weidman had a bit of bad luck this year with the shoulder injury. How is the recovery going? It's going really well. Um, I actually feel I feel really good. Um, two months in pretty much from surgery, another two months and I should be at 100%. And then from there it's uh, another two months to train I should be ready to fight. How's it been in your house? You had said on our show that you were actually living upstairs, but there were no doors on the house. How is that coming yeah. along? <laughs> Sa we're still at the same process. The floor is on the on the on uh, the sub flooring, and the first floor is there now. Uh, the doors are still no good, but uh, you know, it's, I was, and we're definitely happy to be back at our house, and uh, it's better than being in my parents' house in a, in, in a one room with two kids and a wife. So, I'm happy. <laughs> You were actually talking about wanting to fight Bisping when you were on the show. How closely are you going to be watching that uh, fight between him and Belfort coming up in a couple weeks? Oh, def I'm definitely interested in watching it. Um, definitely two tough guys. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'd like to fight Bisping just because he likes to discredit me a lot. Uh, so I just think it would be a lot of fun leading up to that fight, just, you know, the antics and stuff like that. I haven't been involved in anything like that. I need to get my name out there, and I think he'd be a, a good guy to do that against. But... Yeah, um, I'm not sure uh, if it's good or bad, who wins or not. I don't really know, but I'm excited to watch the fight. Anderson recently signed a 10-fight deal. How excited are you to hear that he'll be still fighting for I guess, quite some more time here and that you may actually get a chance to fight him eventually? That's awesome. You know, ever since I got into the sport, when I decided to go 185, I knew that was the guy I had to believe I could beat. And uh, to hear he's not just you know, going to retire as soon as I get you know, to the spot where I'm almost there is definitely nice to hear. We want to wish you all the best. Is there any particular um, fight that you're looking forward to as far as, I mean, um, fight awards tonight, as far as the awards coming up, any particular award well, that you're looking forward to? Well, for tonight, I'm nominated for breakout fight of the year. I doubt I'll get it because I'm competing against Ronda Rousey and some other great nominees, and uh, I just don't think I have what it takes to go against them. But <laughs> uh, we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Well, we wish you all the best of luck on that. Breakthrough fighter of the year downstairs. Yeah. You were thinking you maybe weren't going to get it, but you did. How does it feel? It feels great. You know, uh, I was going against some top-notch people. Expecting Ronda Rousey, obviously, is very popular. It's up to the, uh, the the voting, the popular vote, and I didn't expect to win. And so it's just uh, I'm overwhelmed with joy. <laughs> and now your name is getting back out there, back on the map. So yeah. while you're injured, people know so that Chris Weidman is in the mix and. What do you think Anderson Silva is doing at home right now? Do you think he's watching it at all and thinking about you? Have you on your mind? That would be cool if he's watching it. Maybe because Steven Seagal was giving me the award he might have been watching. But uh, I don't think he, uh, I'm sure he's just hanging out, living good, and uh, doing his thing. But And you're still actually focused on getting that fight in 2013, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I really feel like uh, I had an opportunity to get the belt in 2000 or get a shot at the belt in 2012. And hopefully, hopefully next year, you know, I, I get it, you know. We hope to see you winning for Fight of the Year against Anderson next year. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks a lot, Chris.